Hello, this is Mr. Kenyon Nola, and I'm going to help you find the measure of angle IFJ. Uh, so, let's see what we have here. We have a bunch of central angles. Uh, we know that these are central angles because all of these are radii that meet at the center. Uh, so, let's highlight what we're trying to figure out. So, I, so angle I to F to J. Uh, so, uh, let's follow this trail on what we need to do. So, uh, we really, we have one piece of information for IFJ. We have this arc, and this arc tells us that this angle, this central angle, is congruent to this central angle, uh, 7x plus 5. So, this right here. Uh, so, uh, these two angles are congruent to each other, and something else that we notice is, uh, well, I'm going to highlight um the sum of these two angles so these two angles put together uh, are vertical to this angle right here so uh, this entire angle uh i'm gonna put two arcs here is congruent to these two angles put together because these are vertical angles so uh, let's first start off with figuring out what X is. So if these two angles put together, the sum of these two angles is, is congruent to this angle right here because they're vertical, uh, we could set them equal to each other. So let's write 15X plus 1 is equal to 7X plus 5. Okay, and not just this angle, but this angle plus this angle. 7x plus 5 uh, is equal to this. So these two put together are vertical to this angle right here. So two of these make up this one angle. Uh, so other ways that you could set this up, uh, two, since the two of these put together, you could write it as 15x plus 1 is equal to two of these angles. So 7x plus 5. Okay. Or a third way to set this up uh, is you could cut this angle in half to set it equal to that. So you can write 15x plus 1 divided by 2 is equal to 1 of these 7x plus 5. So either way, here's three different options. It's nice to have options in life. Um, and you, and uh, either way, you solve it, you'll get the same answer for x. Uh, so uh, let's, um, let's do this part, right? Let's, let's choose this option right here. Uh, so I'm going to put a 1 under here. So we have a proportion. And let's cross multiply. So 1 times all of this is all of this, 15x plus 1, is equal to 2 times all of this. Let's put a 2 right here. And if you notice, look, this is the same thing as this. So we're going to end up with that exact same problem anyway. And let's distribute that. 2 times 7x is 14x. 2 times 5 is 10. Uh, and then let's solve it. So let's subtract 14x from both sides. And let's subtract this 1 from both sides. And it looks like 15x minus 14x is just 1x or x. 10 minus 1 is 9. And then you may, you're may you tempted to box this and say, this is my final answer. Highlight and be proud. And then if you put that on a test, it'd be wrong because the question doesn't ask for x. It asks for ifj, that original angle that we highlighted. And so we know that... Uh, this angle is congruent to this angle. So if this is 7x plus 5, this has to be 7x plus 5. So what we're going to do is, I'll just even write it 7x plus 5. So what we're going to do is plug that x into this x over here. So 7 times 9 plus 5. So 7 times 9 is 63 plus 5 is 68 degrees then we box it because we've answered what the question was asking for or not even a question because there's no question mark it's telling us it's commanding us 
hey, find IFJ. So uh, we followed through and we found the measure of IFJ, which is 68 degrees and be proud of it. You could highlight it. There you go, but don't highlight it like that because it makes it look really dirty when you just use the pen and then the highlighter. Anyways, there's your final answer. Hope this helps, Mr. Q. And yeah, have a great day.